So, hi. It's it's been a wee while. So, um good to be good to be um back with you. I um I'm on my own today, so um I'll just um we'll just see how it goes. Four and a half months. Can you believe it? Four and a half months. Sometimes I think gosh, that's it's actually, yeah, it actually feels a lot longer <laughs> since I had my amputation than than that. This week um, in particular, um, I've been at a, a conference and um, I had quite a few people come up to me and say, oh my goodness, Tara, you're doing, you're doing so well. And um, yeah, so... Um, so as 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 nice as that is, and that is that is lovely when people come up and say that. Um, I was kind of reminded that um, that I can be very good at focusing on um, yeah on what I what I'm not doing, opposed to what I what I am doing. And so um, I've been doing this amazing series with this group of women called um, Outrageous Women. And um, that's all about um, being courageous, having courage in um, in different areas of your life. Um, it's a series by um, Charlotte Gamble. If um, if you want to look it up, if you're interested in um, giving it a go, I can um, honestly recommend it. So it's really um, got me thinking over the last um, couple of months, in particular, just. Um, just about not getting too comfortable and um, and just yeah just stepping out of my comfort zone and just how um, how I, how courage yeah is a decision is something you decide um, to be and um, so yeah I've, I've, I've done a few things over that over um, yeah, the space of that time that um, have really um, scared me. But at the end of the day, if it's not scary, then um, then it doesn't require courage. So, um, so yeah, just um, just really um, want to encourage you um, to. Um, to give it a go, um, whatever it is um, that's nagging at you, um, whether or not it's, you know, oh, I'm thinking, you know, want to join the gym or um, I'm just not sure, um, yeah, just encourage you to, um, to give it a go because, um, There is so much blessing that follows from taking that first that first step. So, um, yeah, like I said, four and a half months. Um, my, um, I think I will show you my leg. I'll just take my prosthesis off. Um, it's feeling pretty good. Um, I've just got this little 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 patch at the end I'm just going to tilt this to show you this little can you can you see that oh hopefully you can see that so it's all nice and loose all the way around apart from this one little spot here which is where a um a, a stitch was just in for a little bit too long initially and it all cleared up nicely but you can just see that um yeah it's just still under the skin um on the bone a little bit so I have been reassured that um that the only the only thing to do is to just keep massaging it and um, and it will eventually eventually um, free up so um, 
but it's not it's not causing too yeah it's not really causing um, a hassle it's just yeah just a little bit a little bit annoying I was um also remembering um, thinking about um, you know, like how I just said, um, people coming up to me and saying, oh, you're doing so well. And, um, and in response to that, um, you know, I always say, well, I have my moments. And, um, and I definitely have had my moments, although they have, they have been few, but I have had them. Um, those um, early weeks from coming home in, in the hospital, I was remembering this morning um, one day when I thought, oh, um, you know, before my husband got home, um, I'll, I'll get some veggies ready. Um, and um, I was in the kitchen in my wheelchair and, um, and managed to um, completely um, just knock off the bench this big, big bottle of um, glass bottle of olive oil. So there I am in the kitchen, um, in my wheelchair, with glass everywhere and olive oil everywhere. Just, um, I think I think it turned into an ugly cry, to be honest. It wasn't just like tears, it was, um, it turned into a bit of an ugly sob. And I suppose that's um, just the way that it goes, um, that... Yeah, it's something, something little at the end of the day that just can just tip you, tip you just a little bit over, over the edge and um, and and get you to that place. Um, don't think I've told you this before either. Um, it was only two days after I got home um, from hospital, so um, literally like nine days. From the day I had my foot amputated, I got such terrible, terrible toothache, and um, and I ended up at the dentist, um, of course, going in in my wheelchair, and um, and I'm lying there and X-rayed my mouth and and said, um, you know, we're going to have to take one of your back teeth out, um, you know, um, we're going to have to, yeah, pull it out, and um, and that was just the moment that I felt really, really sorry for myself. Um, not going into surgery, not after surgery, but just in that moment, um, the tears just started trickling down and I, and I, and I thought to myself, that's not fair. And, um, so yeah, so they're, they're just, yeah, two instances that, um, yeah, that have, um, but I think, um, yeah, I think um, that's a good thing at the end of the day, um, just to, um, yeah, that they're precious moments as well, just to, just to have that, um, that release and, um, and then just pick yourself up and, um, and keep going. So, um, I might just leave it at that for now, um. And I am sorry, it's been um, a little while. Oh, the other thing I was going to say, after because I just um, showed you that spot on my foot, um, I've been looking up um, over the last few days all about, um, just about, yeah, if there's anything I can do. Um, because I'm feeling like I've got like the hairiest stump imaginable. Um, um, feel a bit like ape woman at the moment but um everything i have um looked up or read has um has basically said um yeah just yeah not to shave not to shave not to shave which is what the um limb center told me to do so if anyone has any um any fantastic ideas where that's concerned that have been proven of course that have been tried and proven um, send me a message because I would um, love to um, hear from you um, but yeah I mean in the scale of things um, not a big deal so um, so I'll get over it 
<laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, God bless you and um, keep you safe and take care and I will not leave it so long next time. Um, speak to you soon. Bye.